Try to get in touch with your breath. Ride with it. And if the mind wanders off, just come right back. Wanders off again, come back again. You have to show your determination. Because that's what makes the difference between ordinary concentration and the kind of concentration we're trying to develop. Ordinary concentration comes in little bits and pieces. You focus on something for a while, and then you have a lapse, and then you focus again and have a lapse, or maybe focus someplace else. It's not all that continuous. It takes a real effort to follow, say, when someone's talking, and all the way from the beginning all the way to the end, or when you're reading a book, to keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. So we're trying to stitch together these moments of concentration as we meditate, and it's our determination that stitches them together. It's not going to happen on its own. There's a lot of talk about how the, the path is just allowing the mind to find its true nature. But the mind has all kinds of natures inside, all kinds of tendencies. And you're trying to strengthen the good ones and weaken the bad ones. And that's why you need determination, because otherwise the mind slips back into its old haphazard ways. We're trying to make the meditation the opposite of haphazard. It's determined. You're going to stick with it all the way through. So each time there's a lapse, just come right back, come right back. Don't get discouraged. The more quickly you can catch yourself and come right back, the more you're going to see. You begin to see the moments when the mind has its secret decision that it's going to go someplace else, and then it pretends that it didn't do that. It was like the dog we had in Thailand. It would come up in the evening when the monks were having their evening allowables, and if you didn't give anything right away, he would scratch your leg, and if you looked down at him, he would look away as if he hadn't done anything. Well, the mind acts like that. The committee member that wants to go someplace else, it will pretend like it's not there. But if you can catch it as it's laying its seeds for distraction, you can destroy the seeds. The mind can settle in. Have a lot more continuity in its concentration. And the more continuous your concentration, the more you're going to see things from the beginning to end. So remind yourself you're stitching together little bits and pieces here, but you're trying to make them into something whole and strong. And that strong concentration is not going to be found anywhere else, but aside from stitching together what little concentration pieces you've got. So protect them, maintain them, and show some determination. When you're focused like this, that's when things come into sharp relief.